Hi guys, this is Arjun Abraham. So now after a long time, I'm back again. So basically, this vulnerability can be properly exploited on uh, Windows version 4.20 and all. So uh, this file spoofing vulnerability will allow an attacker to include an executable inside Windows, and uh, uh, rather than showing it as an executable, he can spoof the file name to MP3. Dot text or whatsoever. So basically, whenever a victim or a user click on that particular text file or MP3 file, actually uh, the executable will be getting executed. So this particular vulnerability, that is file spoofing vulnerability, exists in uh, Windows 4.20 and uh, mostly on all the latest builds till 5.10 beta 1. But actually, uh, the successful triggering of this exe works only in version 4.20 but uh, the spoofing works in all versions. Okay, let's begin. So, I am having Windraw version 4.20 that is a bit. Right. So, I'm just right clicking the executable. R2 archive. Now, uh, instead of selecting RAR format, select SIP format. So, this particular vulnerability existing uh, RAR files or sorry uh, compressed files created with WinRAR in .zip extension so once you do that uh, you can create the file okay so now the compressed file is created if you double click it you can see that uh, deskathon.exe is inside so now uh, in order to exploit this vulnerability you will have to use a hex editor so here is an hex editor so open that particular file so this is the compressed uh, zip file so I'm opening it up and uh, you can see in the top uh, you can see here uh, there is the file name of that particular executable okay so what you have to do is you have to scroll down and uh, reach the bottom and again you can see the same file name there is a second instance of the same file name there so actually uh, whatever being shown here I mean like the file name is uh, file name shown here will be displayed inside WinRAR I mean like uh, here the file name will be uh, the file name that is displayed here so this is the same thing that is shown over here I mean the second instance so what you can do is now let's change the extension from .exe to mp3 alright and uh, save it so after that uh, just close this for instance and open it up again and now you can see it's uh, deskathon.mp3 instead of .exe so we, here you can see that the type is mp3 file and all so if you double click it you can see that the executable is popping up so this is basically the file spoofing vulnerability in Windra. so this spoofing works even in the latest builds as I told but execution of this spoof uh, file works only I mean like I had seen or tested only in 4.20 I did test on uh, 5.10 and uh, 5.0 beta versions but it worked out. So this is a version that is affected currently and anyway thanks for watching that's it.